Javed Malik, I am professor at Department of Earth Sciences, IIT Kanpur. My specialization is active fault mapping, paleoseismology, and paleotsunami. Last time we gave uh, uh, this course on photogeology, part one and part two. The feedback was good, so we are uh, going to rerun this course. And I hope that this time also it will be helpful to you all. Now, in briefly about this course, I would like to tell that what is our course plan in part one and part two. Mostly, we'll talk about the uh, general introduction of uh, remote sensing. Then we'll talk about uh, the photogeology and its application. We'll try to use different type of aerial photographs, which uh, we have collected from uh, different countries. And then we will be having some exercises which we will be doing using studio uh, photographs which we have for Himalayas and other regions that will help. And then we will also talk about that how the, uh, the photogrammetry can be used to uh, in towards the evolution of the terrain. And in part, this will be basically in part one where also we will talk about that how you will identify the different terrains in terms of the either it is uh, 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 the different type of rocks and what are the structures, geological structures you can pick up using uh, the interpretations of, of, on, of satellite data. And mostly we will try to use high resolution uh, satellite uh, data in this and in part two mainly uh, we'll have some uh, most of the, the, the part two will be will be covering the uh, the exercises we will do the lab exercises and if we are going to get spillover uh, with the lectures in part one we'll be covering in part two and mostly uh, the the labs will do and we will also try to use the data which we have collected by UAV and uh, how we are going to use and uh, um, in related to the uh, terrain evolution. I hope you will enjoy this uh, course again and uh, uh, we will try to read and uh, again if we get good feedback of this. Thank you so much.